Hello and welcome back to Pax Hacks and let's go with the interview straight away. I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Um, I'm only after the truth. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. Thank you. So, who are you? I am Flufty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. What is gastroentomologist exactly? In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. Why well, come to Snacktooth Island? To study bug snacks, obviously. But you didn't know what bug snacks were until you got here. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. Thoughts on bug snacks? You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Emotional parasite? Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. Why did you leave town? I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. Is it true that you eat grumpuses? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Why is there a severed leg in your hut? Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? And the infant Lisbeth? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. What about Egabel? Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Who interfered? Shelda. That mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. So what happened? Ultimately, Egabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Any final thoughts? Yes. I have the password to Egabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. Thank you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave. Okay. Let's check it out. Mm. But it seems that you want something. What are you up to? Ah, you're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. Come again? Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off, head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that bug snacks will regrow it in its entirety. This seems unsafe. Indeed. Perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's volunteering. I can find more volunteer. Oh, ready well. You're welcome to try. <laughs> okay, sure, cool. Um, maybe I won't be waking me up yet. Um, still, how the hell am I supposed to get that? Um, oh, right. Mm, Mini Mari. And Grumpy Snack Boat. And anything else? Nope. Who wants to be a sushi? Hmm. Who could fit in that role? Right, uh, we were supposed to check out their house. One more clue, I think it was up there. On these... No? Wait. Anyway. Oh, I already thought... I'd find something inside. No. Oh. Not here. Not 
here. Oh, don't sleep. It's not your bed. <clears throat> Wait, what was that for? Come again. Fluffy dismissive gave me this key. It seems to go with a mysterious box. I haven't found any box, did I? I don't remember finding any box. Maybe... Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we can use this arch. Over there. Okay. Yep, seems like it. Hey, <laughs> hey, I've got it. <clears throat> Thanks for getting my laundry back. I guess I really ought to watch my step from now on. But hey, at least I wasn't holding anything flammable this time. <laughs> well, stranger, I'm in a bind. I was gathering fertilizer in the flame falls when I lowly scooped it right out of my paws and flew off. Could you help it? Help me find it. Oh, sure. And here? Yep. Boom, focus it is going my view is kind of soody. Yep. I don't know how to get it. Uh, transform a Grampus to show all four peel back variants. I think I we saw one only. Uh, we haven't seen that one. Flavor falls. Wait, don't we have all? No, we lack one. No, we lack two. Flavor falls. Flavor falls. Yep. Um, only this when it's raining and it's not right now. So let's go to the mountains. I guess. Because why not? We are supposed to find something in here as well. Well, we have two maps. About this place, if I remember correctly. I apologize for dragging you into this mess again. I will take care of this issue myself if I weren't so spindly and reclusive. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I just ask Chandlo? Mm. But I could never do that. Chandlo is far too pure. He's not ready for this world of chaos and turpitude. What you wanted me to do here? <laughs> Wait, it's one of those, I guess? Nope. We saw that. As well as breaking down come from... But I think I already done that. Yeah, I got what I needed here. Oh, you want banana something. The question is, where can I find it? Oh, whoa! Right, you guys wanted something as well. Wow! Five hours go by pretty fast when we're working together, Wambi. And now that the avalanche is cleared away, we can go explore the top of the mountain! Trivi, I'm almost 50, and my back's at least 100. Let's go lie down for a spell. You're almost 50? Really? Wait, wait... No, what's that? Rainbow sweet fly! It's so oh, it's so cute! I need to catch it. I need it. Can I climb that? Thank you. No! Oh well. But for us, there's no full damage. Mm. We still have to, to know, get to know. Mm. Oh, we haven't found this thingy. It always. Oh, it usually has some kind of sign next to the place. Wait, maybe. Usually. Okay, usually. Nothing? Okay, um. Oh, 
I don't think it's over there as I dare. Where could it be? Okay, we found a snack pulled. It's another rainbow one. Yep, thank you. Mm. Oh, hello. Yeah, we go to Maybe it really is over there guarded by Mopsicle. Are we done? Get over here. Thank you. Because <laughs> it is no... It's no threat anymore. Wait, what about this place? Hmm? No, okay, 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 get back here. Maybe if I was going to pick you up. Are you sure it's not over here? Oh, interesting. Oh, leave me alone. And he wanted banana something. Right? Wait, there's that thing again. Never mind then. We'll just go up the mountain. To the frosted peak. Hmm. It is interesting though. Oh, it's so cute. What's that? Water jam. Okay. Campfire. In the butter. Empty sody. Anything else? No, I don't see anything else. So now this one should be quite easy. Or not. <gasps> What's that? Instabug! Wait, what it likes? Okay, think I get it? me what are you <laughs> scooby bana banupi i hate you who wants that creamy patch this multi pile of cream and cookies if it's a buck snack please leave me alone <laughs> i'm just trying to get some This one is inhabited. Uh. Hello. 
Ah! You shouldn't be here. It's not safe. You need to get off this mountain for the sake of your health and well-being. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Aren't you a You... You know me? Oh, oh, you're the reporter. The one Liz was always talking about. I didn't think you'd really come out here. Why is it dangerous? If another earthquake strikes, it'll cause an avalanche. If you're up here when that happens, you'll be buried in snow. And if you don't die from blunt force trauma, What's that? you'll asphyxiate. Aren't you ninja too? I can handle it. I've been up here for weeks on my own, doing fine. What are you doing up here? I'm surviving. We'll come back to Snagsburg. No. Not until I find Liz. What happened to Liz Bird? We... We were exploring the mountain. There was an earthquake. And we got separated. How can I help? Just go back home, okay? No. Be safe. And... Please... Don't tell anybody I'm up here. Wait, now I want this. Studler, this building snack is a source of warmth in the bitter cold, but it is... <laughs> Hi? Okay, you don't seem to be... ...blow hot. Unfortunately, I don't think I have... Yep, I only have three. Uh, oh, we are supposed to follow her. Probably up the hill. Leave me alone. No, 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 no. Thank you. Really? Nothing? Okay. As you wish. What the? Jimmy! It really is quick. Jelly goop. I don't think I fold her. Probably the sound is creepy. Oh, this snapboard. And it wasn't that what made the sound. Let's see. Wait. Yeah, let's go back. The entrance. I was supposed to follow her, but I don't know where she went. I might have gone up here instead. Or not. I think this is just another way. Up here, yeah. Hmm. Where did she go? No! Hey Gabo, where did she go? Okay, there's a path over here. Whoa. Is that the box? Nope. <sighs> what a shame. A glue. Flutter jam statue. Figure this out. Just think like Liz. Ah! Oh, stop. 
Stop sneaking up on me or I'll quarantine you. What are you working on? Well, it's a big mysterious door. You don't say. I wanna open it. There's some kind of weird lock on it. Liz figured it out, but I don't know what happened to her notes. I almost done. got it, I swear. I just need to get into Liz's headspace. I have Liz's journal. Oh my grump, where'd you find this? Good work. Was her writing always this sloppy? It's not doctor bad, but still. Huh. Liz says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent. Uh, thanks for the help. I'll take it from here. You will. You don't need to do this alone. Fine. You catch half, I'll catch the other half. Oh, okay. And we'll meet back here. Sure. Sound good? Good. <laughs> Let's see. Scoopy. Chippy. I think I'll go with them. Studler. Empty Sodi. Chili Neely. I, I don't have any from here. Okay, so let's try Empty Sodi, Triply, and the flying one. <laughs> you again! Go away. Really? It broke away? How about this? Thank you. Oh, so I can aggravate it, then it will follow me around. No, I don't think it can go up the stairs, though. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What do you like? You love peanut butter, of course. Uh. I think this is a better idea. Oh, it's big! I didn't realize how big it is! Wait, wait, wait. Get over here. Oh, I can do it like this. Nice. Guess I need to get to the top. Hmm, a little thing. Thanks for I think. I really did not expect it to be so big. Oh, I remember. Maybe not so high. Like this, like this. Forgetting how to catch some of them. Really? Luckily, he is one of the quickest. Thank you. Now we have to go even higher up. As for you, I have no idea how to. Actually, I might have an idea. I really like hot sauce. Nope. Oh, I really hoped you'd react. Catch him like this. 
No, I don't think we can. Yep. Is that right? You how this way this elusive flyer is looking for its favorite sauce. It wants to be coated in it. Oh, and you really go all round, don't you? Okay, we can do that. Come on, where are you? Let me catch you. Nope, no, don't, don't fall down. Who wants to be coated in it? Hmm. I can try it like this. Oh, that's what happens. Okay. Yes, yeah. it makes sense. Flutter jam. And what I want to do is I want to try to catch. No, I don't think that will work. I got it. Nice. Yes. Oh, it's so cute. So colorful. It gives me instant sugar coma. Okay, but that is gonna be it for today. We're gonna feed them tomorrow. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!